All right, so we got some of the uh, fried fillets right there of the shot. And this is pan fried. So yeah, we about to just go in on all of it. I never had shot before. I never caught a shot before, before uh, today. But you know, I'm trying to see if it's fuego or just say no. That's a huge fish. <laughs> So we got some of this cut up shot right here. About to try some of this shot. You know, we're gonna bait some of it, use some of it for bait. And we also gonna, you know, take a taste of some of that. Cause I never, never, ever, ever had shot. I mean, today is the first day that I've ever caught a shot. So, yes, sir. And uh, we cut one of them open. Found a whole lot of row right there. That shot row. Yes, sir. It's one of them three and a half pounders right there. Just like uh, Ju told me, I got the switch going on. I was also interested in seeing how they would fillet. So we got a good fillet right there too. And this product right there. Woo. Looking good, looking good. Cool thick fillet out of that, man. And of course there's still a little bit of bones in there, pin bones. But so far as the rib bones and all that, we cut all that off. Found some more roll in here. Uh, you know, striper candy. So we got a uh, whole lot of roll in there. I thought it might be interesting just to see what a filet might do. Now, you know, you've seen the ones that we have fried. We kind of fried them whole. We just cut the head off and the tail off. Uh, and you know, gave it some slits in there. Basically just followed my man J.U. and what he did. I felt like just seeing what a filet would be like and uh, They got, you know, a rib cage right there, which by not cutting too much into the stomach, I managed with this filet right here, I managed not to get any of that, except for right here. I'm basically just treating this filet like I would a uh, trout, you know. I don't really care for the belly meat. But now that we got him, clean you can see on this side that's the rib cage that was remaining and i mean this some pretty nice meat i mean they got pin bones like i said instead of one row of pin bones there's two but that's why we're deep frying these uh to make the pin bones edible And instead of um, scaling it, just gonna cut the skin off like so. But you know, since we threw these in a live well, yes, they got a lot of uh, blood still on here. You know, if you bleed your fish, you don't really get this blood line. that and on stripers you'll see this uh, pretty much on any fish when you cut it too close to the skin 
you'll have a lot of this that you don't want. But yeah, man, besides that, it's not, once we rinse this off, got it rinsed off, man. I mean, it's a pretty nice filet, if I might say so myself. Like I said, despite the little pin bones, I mean, the meat of the filet looks pretty good. So we got some of the uh, fried fillets right there of the shop. And we got some of the JU recommended whole shot right there. Oh, this is air fried. From the air fryer right there. And this is pan fried. So yeah, we about to just go in on all of it. I never had shot before. I never caught a shot before, before uh, today. But you know, I'm trying to see if it's fuego or just say no. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to find out right now. And yeah, man, we'll be doing this, you know, when I do some catching cooks and stuff. That's what we gonna call that right there. Because I, I'm there's a few things that I haven't had on the channel, man, that I kind of want to test out and see, man. If it's fire or if it's not, you know what I mean? But we gonna call them segments Fuego or Say No. You heard it here first on It Gets Real. Yes, sir. So yeah, man, like carp and bat rays and stuff like that. Trust your boy, man. Trust your boy, man. I'll tell you, I'll tell you the truth, man. It's, it gets real. So if it's not real, I'll be lying to y'all. And that's something I wouldn't do. You know, so yeah, we're going to go in right here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Got the Cuzzo, Meyer. Y'all seen him in a couple episodes, man. We up in his house. I'm I'm in the sack area. So, you know, I had to slide by my fam. And um, yeah, get to it. So I got me a piece of this shot right here. Uh, uh, dip him in the sauce real quick. Okay, I should have tried that without the sauce just to um really get a taste. But I can't say what fish it tastes like, but obviously it tastes like fried fish. And um it does not taste bad. But that's the fried filet. So we're going to go on over here. Oh, you see how that just peeled off? See some of the bone? Okay. You get some of the bones out of there. They do be in there like that. But hey, this dude has a, a good flavor. It ain't bad. I gotta honestly say, American shot ain't bad. Bony, like what I've heard. Yes, sir. Got a couple of these that I have to get out. But um, I think I like the fried fillets, though. I don't like picking through my fish, man. But when you got it fried like this, you can see the bones right there, and you can get to the meat. Overall, oh, good tasting fish. I can say the fried joints right there, because I'm a fan of fried fish, you know what I mean? I can say that's fuego. But if you was going to bust it down like that, not because of the taste, I will say no. But because of all the bones you have to pick out, I would say no.